abstract. So the first, just about the only fly I think of when I think, think of muskrat is the casual dress. Although you can certainly use the grey fur to dub with. You pull, pull out, out the guard hairs, but this is a fly invented by a, a, a western tire called Polly Roseborough. And uh, I don't know when, but he died in 94, I think, uh, 1929 to 1994. So probably through the golden years of, I guess, of me first learning how to tie flies, it came out. I, I would remember it being in the in, in the magazines of the time. And the casual dress is valid is is that it's a scruffy looking nymph. Can you put it in the vice, Elliot? In Isn't the vice? Just, yeah. But it's made entirely from muskrat. Except for the little black head. This certainly is a nymph in the ground. So the whole idea of that is, the theory is the fish, no matter how the fish look at your fly, it sees the same shape. So if it's looking from the side, it looks the same as if it's on top or if it's un underneath. So the whole idea is less, <coughs> less um, exactness, but more shape, more solid. And if I'm wrong in the back, please say so. <laughs> the three wise men in the back is the most fitting pattern that Polly came up on um, with. Um, and again, either a 3x long streamer slash nymph hook or a 2x long nymph hook. I'll tie it on again a number four and a 3x long. Now that this takes tail, the body, and the hackle as all muskrat. Now that you can um, add a, a layer of lead on these if you are, uh, how to identify those that you weight and those that you don't is. Uh, tie one with black thread and the other with either brown or red thread. So if you tie, let's say, a weighted fly, you could use black thread. If it's a non-weighted fly, use brown thread or olive or another color of thread. So that you can tell. And write it down. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I don't bother. I leave the lead off and throw a split shot on the line. <laughs> okay, so it, it's the same it's the same as the ground hard out of the wood chuck. The fur lays one way. If you go against the grain, it, uh, it start, ends up. So lay it down, start off at the top of the, from 
the butt end of the hair, and you lift up a little thin <coughs> line of hair, grasp it, hold it up straight, snip it off close to the skin. Now then some people tie it with a with, with all the un, un deferring. Some people prefer the, the guard hairs, so it's entirely up to you. I think there's more meat in the fly with the, the, uh, the fur left in, but you could take some out, it's not a big deal. <coughs> And again, about a hook shank or a hook gap and a half or so in length. <coughs> Tie it down on the top. There's your tail. Now the body is dubbed. So I just take a club. Leave the guard hairs in and I just mix it up. Little smear of wax. Dump that on. They were fairly slant in the noodle. thing is that you close the loop at the top of the, the hook shape. So you cross the thread over your loop and that locks the loop down at the top. Okay? If you don't do that, you can't close the loop up in, enough to make the um, the uh, loop spin. There's something else I didn't bring. Oh well. Uh, okay. Improvise. I got pliers. Again, you take a thin in line of hair, as thin in as you can, hold it all up, snip tip it off. So, you put it in the loop.
Okay. So before you spit in the dough, you want to slide the hair out, tease the hair down in as long a line as you can. Okay, so you want about a quarter inch or so, three sixteenths on the on the butt end and then have all the the guard hairs on the long end. Okay, so it looks like that. So this may or may not work. Slow it down. There we go. Okay. And now you get a hackle type of chenille made from fur and, and the guard hairs. Okay, so move your thread up a bit. Now then, you wind this on, close turns. Each turn, stroke the fur back. And you get a nice spiky hackle head color. Like so. the third three four times Spit that off tease it back last thing to close the fly off some black of on on stretch hell one um, one strand What's the name of this one again? Casual dress. The casual dress. Everyone knew this in the, in the day, eh, eh Bill? <laughs> Everyone knew it. Now it seems to have died out. It's like all the old patterns have gone and all all new, new, new. Well, someone will someone will rediscover them in ten or so years. Yeah. Again. Reclaim them. Yeah, and it's, it's a, a, a whole new name, and it, it's it, it's the same old fly. Yeah. Flavor of the month.